Um, hey, Larissa, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Jer. I'm just trying out this new mud mask. What do you think? I mean, it's cool, I guess, but I've never really thought of putting mud on your face before. What's up with that? Well, mud masks are great for your skin. It helps with pores and oiliness and dry skin. You just put it on your face and let it sit on there for a while, and then you wash it off, and then ta-da! Nice. So, so how does it feel? Oh, it feels so nice and fresh and clean. I try to do a mud mask once every couple of weeks. Nuts! I never would have thought that mud could actually help your skin out. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, actually, Jesus... Jesus. Uh, Jesus himself used... Wore a mud mask. No, he used oh. mud in one of his miracles, actually. Like in a miracle. In a miracle. For real. For real. I've never heard this story. Tell I, me, give, give me this one. Let's hear it. Well, I was reading about it okay. just recently. One time, Jesus met a man who was blind. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, people thought that things like blindness was a punishment from God. So the disciples asked Jesus if he had if he had done something wrong or if his parents had done something wrong before. And Jesus said that this man had never done anything wrong. Dude, that must have been hard for this guy. <laughs> not only being blind, mm -hmm. but then also having all these people like, you did something wrong, that's not cool. Exactly, it, he felt really bad about it. But Jesus told him that God's not punishing him. In fact, God wants to use this man to show God's goodness and power through him. So I like that part of the story, that, that's super cool. But what's this got to do with mud? Yep, so Jesus actually spat his saliva in a bunch of mud, rubbed it around in his hands, and put it on the man's Dude, eyes. Dude, that's gross! But it worked. Jesus said to wash the mud off of his eyes. I, I mean, that's, that makes sense. It's, Definitely gonna wash it off. It's true, he did. And okay. as soon as he did, he was able to see again. Okay, that's... That's amazing. It's amazing. I do like how one of Jesus' most common miracles is healing people, helping them, you know, making them whole. That really shows how much God loves everybody. I love that part. Definitely. And actually, when this man went back home to all of his friends in his neighborhood, they were all really shocked to see that he'd been healed. Mm. It's true. And he was really excited to share with them that it was actually Jesus that healed him. Legit. I mean, if it was me, I would be telling everyone. I would be like, guys, check this out. This is amazing. You should meet this dude. Definitely. Jesus actually showed through that, that sometimes even when we go through really difficult things in our lives, God can use them to show us how powerful God is, how much God loves us and cares for us in really creative ways. Hmm. Has something like this ever happened uh, to you before? Man, I, I never really thought about it this way before, but now that I think about it, I remember I used to live in Toronto and then I moved to Calgary. And when I moved here, I didn't really have any friends. There was no family around. It was kind of lonely. Mm. But then I went to church and I met people and I made friends. And I guess in some ways that reminded me that God does love us. Oh, that's such an amazing story. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, I, th I think it really does teach us and remind us, just like this story, that even sometimes things that are hard, we might not always like them at first, God can still be in that, teaching us something, showing us how much we're loved, reminding us how great God is. It's true. God showed that blind man how much he loved, cared for him, and healed him. And God showed you that even through a really difficult move, you can find new community and friends in all different kinds of spaces. Totally. And all it started with mud. Can you believe that? Crazy. Crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it.